in this week's blog, we talked about um, delegation and monkeys <laughs> and the Harvard B Business Review article about um, who's got the monkey. And when employees or colleagues come to you with a problem, with a question, do you end up taking it on yourself and thinking, oh, you know what, this is just easier for me to do than to try to explain to them or to try to tell them. Or maybe um, you want to delegate something and then you realize, oh, I just want it to be done right. It's easier if I do it myself. And so all of a sudden you've got this office full of monkeys that you are caring for and feeding, which of course means that prevents you from being able to um, have any kind of work-life balance or be strategic or innovative or have uh, downtime. Well, what I wanted to share today is looking at, uh, do you also have monkeys at home? <laughs> and so in particular, um, depending on what your home life situation is, do you have people at home where you get frustrated because they aren't do some, doing something the way you would want? And so you just jump in and do it yourself. And um, and maybe that works for the short term, for the immediate. But I find with with myself and with my clients over the long term, that creates resentment and it creates an environment that is ripe for conflict and um, and frustration. So if you, if you don't get my uh, newsletter, if you haven't seen that yet, you can sign up to get the weekly Thoughtfully Fit Tips. It comes out every Wednesday. And um, it is always about people problems and the Thoughtfully Fit model on how you can handle yourself thoughtfully no matter what happens. So in my home, let me give you an example of how the monkeys, I mean, I've got lots of examples with my daughters. But years ago, I was finding... So John left, John did all the um, household chores, the laundry, the cooking, the cleaning, and all of a sudden he's gone and I have to do all of that myself. And it was overwhelming and exhausting uh, on top of all the emotional and mental things I was dealing with. And I found that um, my daughters were, uh, after they were done wearing something, they would throw it on the floor, even if they wore it for an hour and it was clean. And so then I'm doing laundry and I'm finding that I'm, I'm doing like tons of laundry all the time and feeling frustrated um, that why am I working so hard? I mean, if that's a red flag, if you find yourself getting resentful or frustrated, um, overwhelmed, that's a time to take a look, to pause and to think, okay, are there some monkeys that I could give back, that I could let someone else care and feed? And so I had a conversation with the girls and they said, well, mom, I don't know why you always get the laundry off of the floor from our rooms and assume it's dirty. It's not always dirty. I'm like, well, how am I supposed to know what's dirty and what's clean? I have a system and, and you're not using the system. There's a laundry chute that brings it downstairs and I have laundry bins and I tried all these different systems and they didn't work. And so I realized I don't have to take this monkey on. And so we talked and sat down and designed it. And I said, what do you guys think about doing your own laundry? <laughs> and would you believe their answer was great. Does that mean you're going to stop nagging us? And I'm like, yeah, if it means that you're not going to yell if you don't have a clean uniform when you have your next, you know, softball game. Um, you know, it's it's got to go both ways. Let's design this. And so they agreed. And for years, I mean, I don't know if they were nine and 10 years old or something, they've been doing their own laundry. And I, I didn't even realize I could take that monkey off of my back and I have such peace. Now, every once in a while, um, is there, is there stress? Because it's like, mom, I'm supposed to have a black outfit for my band concert and everything's dirty. I'll say, oh, that's a bummer. Okay. What do you, what do you think you can do? Right. I get to stay in this place of compassion and coaching and asking questions and help them solve their problem because it's their monkey. Right. I'm not taking it on. I don't jump and say, oh, OK, let's run to Target. Let's, you know, well, what do you think you could do? I don't know, mom. It's, I, I need it. And the concert starts in two hours. OK, well, what what support do you need from me? Well, help me figure it out. All right. What do you need to wear? 
I need to wear all black. Everything's in the in the in the dirty clothes. Okay, how about your sister? Does she? Have, oh, yes, yes. She's got something black. Hey, Josie! And all of a sudden, she's off and running, and the two of them are curling their hair and doing. I mean, and the monkey leaves with her. So that's my tip for you today: is when you notice that you're feeling overwhelmed. When you notice that your propensity is to just do things yourself because it'll be done right, it'll be easier, I want you to think about the long-term consequences of that choice. And I want you to think and ask yourself, what are the other choices? And is there a way that you can get that monkey off your back? And leave it with your spouse, with your kids, with your colleagues, with whoever it is. It's because what I found um, after we redesigned the laundry, I became so much more pleasant. I wasn't stressed out. Yeah. Are there times when they've got piles and piles and I have to, but that also means that I've had to let go of micromanaging, right? They don't do it the way I would. And they're putting all their blacks and whites together and they have huge piles and they, I don't have to micromanage it. I just, right. And that that's what it requires. Or if you do have a, way that you want it to be done, then you need to communicate those expectations on the front end. You need to be very clear, right? If you're not taking the monkey on and you're letting go of that control for it, but you kind of can't let go of how it's done, then then just name it. Have the courage up front to say, so here's what success would look like and here's here's how I'd like it done. And then ask some questions. How does that sound to you? How does that work for your style? What support do you need to be able to do this? And then kick back and enjoy some stillness. Enjoy some work-life balance because you aren't caring for and feeding all those monkeys. Thanks for joining me. I'm Darcy Loma. Happy Thoughtfully Fit Thursday, everybody. We'll see you next week.